Okay, we're in. Cool. That was super fucking weird. New content, of course. Right. Uh. Okay, Tio. Alright. New season. Your rank will be reset. Cool. Crossplay. You can currently be matched with players. Oh, they finally put crossplay out for this. That's nice. Now I don't have to only play at nighttime to get a fucking game going. That's cool. Uh, Right of the Clown. I don't play as the Clown, so fuck it. Right of Dark Within. With the shape. Level up. Whatever. So. I forgot my train of thought. Uh, no, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so Dead by Daylight, game, like, a beta for this game came out when they were doing, um, when, when the other company was, uh, sorry, I'm having, like, a hiccup right now. When that other company was fucking making the Friday the 13th game, they made this, so they have, like, their own original killers and shit. But then, this game got a lot of traction, and for once, for once out of the blue moon, right? Because when it comes to, like, horror franchise and stuff, or whatever, all the owners to the characters' copyrights and stuff like that, they never like sharing them. But for some reason, for Dead by Daylight, they said, yeah, you want these characters? Here, take them. So, you have some killers that are well-known, like, you got Freddy Krueger, you got Bubba Schweier, right? You got Amanda. Spoilers, Amanda. <laughs> you got Ghostface Killer. It's my favorite. You got the Demogorgon from Stranger Things, right? And then you also got, like, fucking Pyramid Head was a big get. That Friday 13 game does suck, and I keep telling people that. Like, it sucks. The community sucks for that game. Um, and I hate saying that the community sucks for that game. Here's the thing. If you're a fan of horror... Most of the time, horror fran fans of horror are actually cool people. But when it comes to horror games, for some reason, the fan bases are, like, all toxic. And that goes that goes especially so for fucking Dead by Daylight. Because even though, at least in the PS4 version, I'm not sure if the crossplay shit changes that now. In the PS4 version, there's no, like... In all versions of the game, there's no voice chat. And in the PlayStation 4 version, there's no text chat either. So, somehow, even with all that, the level of toxicity in the community of fucking Dead by Daylight is so real. And I've never met anyone more fucking self-entitled than Survivor mains on this fucking game. Now, don't get me wrong, killers could be assholes too, right? But, Survivor mains, people who main survivors... They are the pinnacle of just, like, the worst fucking people you'll ever run into. This has one of the biggest toxic fan base. Like, it's up there with, like, League of Legends, I guess. I don't even play League of Legends, but I know that fan base is toxic as shit. Now, with that said, I don't... I love Dead by Daylight, but I don't really... As you can see, I don't play it as much as I should. But I do like playing as Ghostface, just because he's Ghostface, right? So in Dead by Daylight, there's no actual, like, winning or losing, right? It's just all about getting your blood points. That's what you want, your blood points so you can level up your characters and get their perks so you can share their perks with other characters and just become super sweaty on the game, right? And if you wasn't sweating enough on the game with perks, the way you play this game is there are sound cues in this game. This game is heavily important, very important with sound. And if you really want to sweat on this fucking game, you head to your customization for your character. Not customization, where is it? Your layout for your characters. Here's some perks, right? You also have add ons that help you with certain things. And then you have offerings. If you want to be really sweaty on this game, offer a fucking Memento Mori. What that does, there are two there are two versions of a Memento Mori. This one 
is uh this is like a ultra rare memento mori where overwatch is salt overwatch is salt but it's like meme or it's like meme salt you know where all the meme kids go right like if you like if you play overwatch and end up getting your feelings hurt in overwatch it's whatever man that's like it's it's okay fucking this game though the salt is like super real and it's not even like okay so here's the thing it's an asymmetric asymmetric type game right so and by the way the reason why i'm i'm talking on the fucking menu instead of talking while playing the games because when i get into a match i'm gonna be dead silent most of the time you're gonna hear me talk shit but i'm gonna be dead silent most of the time um here's the thing with dead by daylight it's an asymmetric game but people can also party up so that means potentially you'll have a team of four survivors who can just head into a discord chat and communicate with each other and you're just the one killer you might be saying to yourself, well, whatever, it's a, you know, team against one one guy. Isn't the killer super overpowered? Actually, no, the killers aren't super overpowered. If anything, the survivors are super fucking overpowered. And the fact that some of them can have the abilities to communicate with each other, there's a reason why this game doesn't have voice chat. Um, if fucking, the reason that they can just communicate with each other on a Discord if they are friends, it's super fucking they have a super advantage and it's ridiculous now me i like to make fun of survivors right i'll make fun of killers too but i like to make fun of survivors but even though i hate survivors i don't go try hard on this game i just have my perks sometimes i might have one add-on right and then I'll just leave it at that. I won't go crazy. I won't have to slap on some memento moris. But I guarantee you, right? Let's uh let's have an easy killer right now. Let's have someone like Amanda. Right? Now, here's the thing. It's a new season. My shit got reset, so we're probably not going to run into super sweaty people off the bat, but I'll point out I'll point out Who's sweaty? You can tell that at a fucking glance. Who's trying? So here's my perks we're doing right now. This one is surveillance. What is this? Highlights. Uh, get an order for noise generator repairs. Okay. Okay. So this just makes it more audible for me, right? And get a nice little order. Pick your choice. Uh, when a survivor rescues another from a hook, and choice causes. They're exposed for 40 seconds. Sloppy Butcher. That's so I mangle them so they can't heal themselves. Like, as good. Bitter Murmur is so they drop their weapons, right? Let me see. No, I don't think this is when they drop their weapons. Hold up. Each time a generator is fully repaired, survivor within 16 meters becomes... Okay, they get revealed for 5 seconds. Alright. I'm not going to have any add-ons. I'm not going to do an offering, right? Actually, I might do an offering. Let's see. Oh, I don't even have offerings, like good offerings for her. I thought I had like the uh, XP, the blood point one. But yeah, we're gonna ready up for a match, right? Now, Amanda has two abilities. Actually, she has three. One of them got super nerfed though. She's from the Saw movies, right? So when I down someone, I can put a little, I can put the reverse bear trap on their head, and once a, once a generator gets completed, then that bear trap activates. Then they have to go find a key or whatever through like one of the jigsaw puzzle things and get it off their head. It's not that hard. That thing got nerfed. Um, she has the ability to crouch so no one can hear her footsteps as long as she's crouched, and she has a charge attack, right? Now, of course, her most overpowered thing is her crouch, so people can't hear her coming, right? But, you'll definitely see here, there are two types of people. Actually, there's three types of people who play this game. There are your fucking flashlight heroes, 
who anyone who's carrying a flashlight will just be up your ass the whole entire game, despite the fact that they should be running away from you. Then you have your pallet warriors, who will just run circles around pallets, just waiting to drop the pallet the whole entire time. And then you got the fucking heroes, who are like, No, don't hit the guy who's weak. Hit, hit me instead. I don't even see, what is he holding a fucking, is that a med kit? Alright. This guy, he might be sweaty, I'm not sure. Jake Bomb, you keep an eye on him. Claudettes, people who play Claudette, most of the time they're on some shit. Now, I haven't played this game since, I want to say, June? I think June was the last time I played this. So, oh, only one offers, Escape Kate. Okay. So maybe this isn't a sweaty team of players. Maybe these are just newbies. The game did recently go on sale. So here's the deal, right? You're going to hear me talk shit. I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum because that's how I get in my mood playing this game. I just talk shit. Right? I talk shit to no one. I talk shit to myself. To make myself feel good. Right? But for the most part, I'm listening for audio cues. I'm also at a slight disadvantage because the way I have my stream set up is that the audio from my game that I hear is like delayed by a split second. So, not a split second, by like a full second, maybe like a second and a half. And audio cues are super important. Now don't forget, these survivors can also have perks that can reveal me to them. Or they can just, you know, make my life super hard the whole entire time. So wish me best of luck here. Alright. Here we are. I'm going to start crouch. Actually, I'm not going to start crouch. I'm going to head to the furthest generator. Also, the killer's in first person, and the survivors are in third person. No, they're not over here. All right. Where the f- Hmm. Okay. Ah. Fuck. Alright, so they're down here. What the hell? What the hell are you doing? I think he's distracting me. Either that or he just simply fucked up. Where's the nearest hook? Is it upstairs? Oh god. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get away. I know it looks like I'm fucking it up, right? But he's actually wiggling right now. You know what? I'm just gonna put him down, because I don't... Oh, I dropped him. Alright, never mind. You know what? I hope your friends fix that generator. Cheeky bit of a pig. Yeah. I'm a little cheeky pig. I'm like Daddy Pig. I'm a, I'm a bit of an expert. Alright, so... Did I just see him run over here? Hi, sir. What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! 
All right, well, there you go. I'm going to go get your friend. Actually, you know what? I'm going to break. Where's the pallet you guys put down here? Should be a pallet or something that they put down here. I think it's over here. I'm going to break this. All right. What are you doing? You leave him alone. You gonna go pick him up? No? Where the fuck did she go? Is she just hiding in a corner? Oh. Hi, Bill. How you doing? He still has the bear trap on him? Cool. You can stay down. You're crawling away. Where the fuck does she go? She has to be, like, hiding in a corner or something. Is she fucking... Is she in here? I think she just got away. Like, straight up. Not gonna lie. Stop crawling. Stop crawling away. Come on, buddy. Let's go. As I put him on the hook, the other guy's gonna get up. Because she's gonna go rescue him. Oh. They didn't come get you yet? I guess they're going to go save Bill instead? Where's the nearest hook for you? No, no, stop trying to get away. You stop that. Stop it. Did you heal yourself? Oh, she's running at full speed. Alright, I'm gonna go after Bill instead. Because he is one hit to getting downed. Oh. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. What are you doing, buddy? You gotta stop that. That's not good. You trying to ruin my plans? You trying to foil my plans? So that guy is probably trying to get his key off down there. Right? I call it a key. You know what I mean? His little bear trap thing. So I'm gonna be on my skulker shit. He got off the hook, did he? Oh no, he fucking... Hey, buddy! Ah, oh, I see. He's playing Ring Around the Rosie with me. That's great. Hey, buddy, where are you going? One of them died on the hook, I guess. They have. They got two generators down, it seems. Claudette, and I haven't even seen the other survivor at all. You start struggling. Alright, so... There's a generator over here. Oh! Hi there! I saw your other friend over there. You guys are... Doing a double team thing, huh? Where are you at? I saw their other friend. Now, sometimes people do risky-ass plays. Alright, you're dead, so they just left you. I would assume they would head back to that. Yep. Alright. Here I come. It's okay. I'll just break that for you. And now I'm after you. I see you.
Oh, you fucked up. Oh, you messed up, buddy. I feel bad for him. He fucked that one up. She's probably working on that generator over there that I just beat up. Because this one's pretty close to being done, right? There's a generator over there. He probably ran towards it. I'm like a fucking Pokemon. Hiding in the tall grass. You know what I mean? You come here. You've been a slippery fuck. Hi, how you doing? Hmm. She got away. I still hear you though. She went downstairs again? Really? She looped back downstairs? Oh. Well, there you are. I'm coming for you. I'm a spooky-ass Pokemon? Damn right. You know what's really funny? If you're playing a survivor and Amanda's crouching, fucking... Sometimes you can't tell if she's a survivor or if she's the killer. So you'll just see, like, someone... I heard somebody hurting over here. You little bitch. Here's the thing. Here you go. Right? Where's the nearest hook for you? Right there. Now your friend. Now there's a generator all the way over there she should be working on. If not, she's going to go save him right now. I don't think she's working on this generator. No. Yep, no, she went to go save him. Alright, cool. Sometimes the crows like telling them where I'm at. Oh, you fucked it up, guy. Now I know you're there. So I think I didn't explain this earlier, but um Oh, I hear him. He's just fucking it up, huh? Did he run away? Oh, blood trail. Okay. Where you at, buddy? Where are you? Did you go upstairs? Ooh. He's here somewhere. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I know you're here. Just give it up. Damn it! I'm gonna head for that generator over there. Because this one over here is pretty close. Yep. I already knew it. I'm coming for you. I'm going after him. He's weak. He doesn't know I'm here. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Alright. To the hook you go. Good try, though. You gave me the slip. You did. Now your friend's over there, right? She went over here. Someone dropped their med kit. 
Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Are we going around? Hmm. Hmm. Did I just miss blatantly? Really? Did he disconnect? Oh. Because some pe sometimes people will just get stuck and that's when they just disconnect. So this is his last hooking, sadly. And now there'll be one survivor left, in which they need to go look for the hatch. I need to look for the hatch too. Because they can either get the last generator, head to the exit, or they can find the hatch and escape. Now, there's a... Yep. There was a huge chance that she knew where the hatch was at, because she went all over the map. So, I will say, those are probably newer players. Because they made a lot of mistakes. I also made a lot of mistakes, but that's because I'm fucking rusty, right? Did I have fun? Yeah. Um. Hello? Can I not... There we go. Yeah, I did have fun. Yeah, those were probably newer players. Um, they made some mistakes. Right. Hashtag kill the Blanettes. Is that a is that a meme on Claudette? I should know, right? I heard, I heard, I heard fucking Dwayne and Claudette players are like the biggest, notorious, most notorious assholes. So, Amanda, that was probably a little bit too harsh, especially if they were newer players, because I didn't explain it earlier, but uh, survivors get a heartbeat, right? And the heartbeat gets louder and quicker the closer the, uh, the closer they are to a killer. And Amanda, when she crouch, she doesn't give off that heartbeat, right? So, I was hoping they weren't newer, uh, newer players, but I guess they were. So, just in case. Here's one person you'll never see me ever play as. I'll never play as the Doctor. Ever. The Doctor, if you're a killer and you're playing as the Doctor, you're kind of an asshole. Doctor's overpowered. And he's been nerfed to hell. And he's still overpowered. So. Yeah, that's kind of an asshole move to play as a doctor. Right? What's not an asshole move, however, is to play as Ghostface. I like Ghostface. I just like Ghostface because he's cool. Um, the spirit's kind of harsh too. And for PC players, if you're playing as the fucking nurse, you're probably ruining someone's day. They just put a tree and become invisible. <laughs> yeah. Speaking about invisibility, the Wraith. Right. He just ring his bell. Actually, let's have let's have a game with the Wraith. Let's get some of his shit. Alright. Oops, I didn't mean to search for a match, my bad. Knockout. Four. I wish there was just like a quicker way to fucking level up. Always go for perks. Six. Sloppy Butcher. Level seven. Insidious, right? Insidious. Insidious kind of sucks for a perk. Basically, is you 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 fucking you stand you stand still. 
you stand still for a set amount of time and you don't give off a heartbeat. It's like there are killers that can move around and don't do that shit. Hex is kind of fucking lame, too. Right. Survivor Pudding. Sloppy Butcher 2. What is this one? Bloodhound? Like a hunter sent how you smell traces of blood. Great distance. Fresh blood makes considerably more discernible than normal. Being tracked for three seconds. Eh, it's whatever. I'd rather get Sloppy, I'd rather get sloppy Butcher 2. Right. Oh, dead and it pops up again. Uh, cool. What you really want, though, is barbecue and chili. Best perk in the game. Spies from the shadow. The crows found in the world can be can communicate with you. I have no idea what the fuck this does because I had this on before and it just didn't. It didn't do anything for me whatsoever. The crows are a bunch of fucking liars. Thirteen. Uh. Predator. Tracking abilities hone in disturbances left by running survivors. Scratch marks so our spawn considerably more closer. Yeah. Fourteen. Whispers. Whispers is kind of cool. Basically, you start hearing shit. And if you hear shit, that means you're close to a survivor. Oh. That's all I got. Oops. I didn't even set my perks up. Yeah, I guess. Right? I mean, Wraith is just like, Wraith is probably the most cheat character for the newest players, right? Like, if you don't have the DLC. Now, what are we gonna put on? Shadowborn. Oh, so this is just basically f field of view. They they up the field of view slider. Predator is pretty, pretty cool, right? Whispers. Whispers 1 kind of sucks, because 48 meters, bitter murmurs, knockout, knockouts, whatever, sloppy butcher, I'll take sloppy butcher. There's no reason to have Predator 3 and Bloodhound, so, uh, Deerstalker, yeah, oh, I thought I had 4 available, my bad, what the fuck am I doing? I'll just up my field of view. Alright. There we go. Yeah, if you're using Predator 3, there's really no reason to use a Bloodhound, right? Because you're going to be using those scratches more than you use the Bloodstains. Because you need to at least hit them once for the Bloodstains. Now. Now, the, um... The Wraith is more sensitive to fucking flashlights, because he's like a being of the shadows, right? So flashlights are triple times worse on him. Yeah, see... That sounds useful for, uh, for the crows to make the noise, but... At least with the djinn, when the djinn makes noise, they have, like, a moment where they go, Ah, you know, they get scared because they fucked up the generator, so they're still there for, like, a nice moment. And most of the time, when they're near crows, they're crouching. So they're not gonna affect the crows, right? So the crows kind of just sucks. <laughs> crows are bitches, I hate them. They make me feel bad about myself. Also, with the, um... Here's one thing. If you ever have a chance 
you should head to the Dead by Daylight website and read the lore for some of these guys. But the Wraith has probably the worst lore ever. And not worse as in like, oh my god, it's bad. Worse as in like, the writing is actually bad. The writing is just like, eh, he's a dude, came from Africa, got a job, uh, apparently he worked for some fucked up guy and was like killing people through a, through a car, cr uh, through the fucking uh, car compactor. And then he got mad and threw his boss in there and then he just grabbed his spinal cord and walked away. And it's like, okay, but how did he become the monster? How did he fucking get the ability to go invisible? You just told me he's a black dude that took someone's spine out and walked away. Like, all right, cool. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty weird ass fucking story. Like, like if you take that compared to like the newer killer, the blight, the blight has like a fucking light novel written about him. Like I read the whole entire thing and I was like, oh my God, whoever wrote this is a fucking genius. It was good reads. You know what I mean? Like, I guess somewhere, maybe it's in the game, like in the archive files or something, they say, like, the bell that he gets to go invisible was given to him by the entity. Right? But, it's whatever, man. Alright, who has a flashlight? No one has a flashlight. Then they're not gonna be a pain in the ass. You should, you should worry about people when you see them holding a flashlight confidently, right? They're holding a flashlight with the confidence of a fucking god. And if they're covered in blood. If they're covered in blood, then they definitely probably have no life. They probably need to, they probably need to get their dick sucked at some point. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know? Like, if their character is covered in blood, that means they, like, prestige, what, three times in a row? So, like, you either need to go suck some dick, or you need to get your dick sucked. Like, go live your life. <laughs> Come on. Alright. The last mark, I don't even know what that does. Oh, okay, it sends us to the fucking estate. So we're going to the estate with all the bamboo and shit. Great. Great, they can hide in the bamboo. I can hide in the bamboo too. So here's the thing. If you're invisible and you walk up to them and they don't react, most of the time they're probably a new player because even though the Wraith goes invisible, it's kind of obvious to know that he's there. There's like a nice shimmer effect that happens when he's near. And you know when he goes invisible because you'll hear him ring the bell unless they have a... Unless they have an add-on, or is it an add-on or an offering? I think it's an add-on. At least, the, unless they have an add-on that makes the bell silent. It doesn't take that many hours to prestige. But still. But still. Like. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not that necessary. All right. So let's go look for people. My least favorite is when people head up there. Because I hate going up steps. I bet there's someone over here. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. He knows I'm here. You don't, though. You should get going. Did she run away, like run away, or? Did she run away or did she crouch away? Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's being a warrior. He's being a war hero. Is your friend over here? Were you healing her? Wow, that was stupid. You're not working on this in front of me, are you? Making sure. Just making sure. Is he trying to distract me? I think he's trying to distract me. I'm gonna head over here. 
they can go heal themselves. I'm like the fucking Slender Man. Ring a ding ding my bell. Hey, how you doing? She ran back? Oh. Wow. I'm sorry, girl. I'm pretty sure uh, Detective Tap is gonna come and get you. I can feel his presence. He's like the hero of the group. I'll let them get her off the hook. I'm not that worried about it. Now over here, however... Uh... I should damage it, but I'm afraid someone's up here. I definitely don't like it when they're... Oh! Hi! He jumped down, didn't he? Yep. Yep, he did. Coming for you, buddy. Here we go with this pallet warrior shit. You really fucked that one up. You got lucky. Because I fucked it up. Did I miss him? Or did I hit him? Oh, there he is. He's gonna go over that pallet. Alright. Nope. He is distracting me. So I'm gonna leave him alone. Check over here. Wait, are they working on it here? Oh. Hi. How you doing? No? Okay. Well, that's great. Now they're probably healing each other somewhere. Right? Yep, someone definitely just got healed. Where you guys getting healed at? You getting healed over here in the cabin? Oh, they're getting that uh, generator started. Where the fuck are the steps? Stop that. They are just healing each other. I like this team. They're competent. I also feel like they might be in a voice chat together. <laughs> what are you doing over here? You doing something? Nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go invisible. They gotta get those other generators. How much you wanna bet all three of them are like working on a generator right now? One of them is healing the other guy, and someone's working on a generator somewhere. That was your first time, right, Bill? I'm gonna head to this generator over here. No, no one's there. At least to my knowledge. What about up here on this hill? Because this one was getting fixed up pretty good. I don't hear anything. This one? I don't hear anything. So they're going to get Bill now. Alright, cool.
He's upstairs. He got away from me. He got away. Is he fixing on the one upstairs? Hi, Detective Tap. How you doing? You gonna go back? Good job. Good job. Where? Where are you? There you go. Time for you to start struggling, my friend. I love you, detective. You're my favorite. Now I'm gonna go upstairs. Got him off the hook? No, no, he didn't get him off the hook. Sound like you got him off the hook, though. Who's in my house? Alright. Well, here you are. That was my bad. Hiding in the forest? Nope. There you go. I love you, detective. Now you can stay there. I hope someone comes to get you. I'm gonna go get your friend. Really? No. 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 Bill can come get you off the hook, right? I'm gonna go look for Tat. Bill, 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 no. Tat, where are you? I hear you, where? Here you go. I'm gonna assume the other person knows where the, uh, where the, um, Escape hatches. Bill, where did you go down at? You went down... You went down somewhere over here. I heard him like two seconds ago. Oh, they got him up. That's what happened. Hi, Bill. Hey, buddy, there's a hook right here. Thank you. You're the best friend a guy can have. Alright, I'm gonna go look for your friend now. They probably know where the hatch is at. Or they're probably over here. Where's that hatch? Not over here. Oh. If she's messing up the, the generator, then I guess she doesn't know where the hatch is at either. Where the fuck is the hatch? Hmm. Alright, well. 
shit. Either she finds the hatch or I find her. What are you doing over here? Oh, I thought I killed Bill. I thought that was Bill's last time being on the hook. I'm stupid. My bad. Come here, Bill. Wow, that was smart. You gonna turn around? You gonna come back? Nope. Usually people do that. Oh. Where'd you go, Bill? Bill? Bill, you're supposed to be my best buddy in the world. Damn it. Damn it, Bill. Well, shit. They're not on that generator. Are they upstairs? Please don't be upstairs. Be anywhere besides upstairs. They are hiding. They are hiding fairly, fairly well. I thought that little rocking horse was one of them. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What are we doing? Where are you? Come on, guys. We in the basement? Yeah, we are in the basement. You're in the basement? Why are you doing that? Why are you hiding in the basement? The basement's the last place you should go. Like, I know there's goodies down there, but come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's gonna try and juke me, isn't she? Huh, no. Usually that's when people try and juke you. They do that little 180 turn. Where's Bill? You should tell me where Bill is at. I've been looking for him. Bill? I thought that plant was Bill for a moment. I was like, what the hell? Bill? 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 Bill, no. Bill, no. What the hell? What just happened? What? Oh, okay, he knew where the hatch was at. What the hell? <laughs> I just saw Bill up there and he fucking disappeared. <laughs> when Bill gets slapped, it sounds like he's laughing real hard. Yeah, that's what happens when you, when you fucking smoke your whole entire life. He's been smoking since he was fucking five. Came out the wound with a, came out the wound with a cigarette in his mouth. Came out the womb with a fresh pack of redwoods, or some shit. I gotta put my phone... I gotta put my phone on a fucking charger. Not gonna lie. They, they juked the shit out of me multiple times there. The Wraith is cool. The Wraith's fine. He's not... He's not bad. Sometimes a little bit unconventional. You know what I mean? Let's do... Let us do... I, I like the Huntress. Not for her, like, abilities. Just for the fact that, like, her chase music and shit... 
it's just her like singing a Russian lullaby. Well, she's not singing it, she's like humming it, but still. And of course for Michael Myers, they got the Halloween theme, right? I am definitely going to get in a match with Ghostface, though. I love Ghostface. I fucking love... I love that. I love Scream. Um... Yeah, let's do the Huntress. I don't have much for the Huntress, but... Uh, her lullaby. Let's see. Pretty hot there. Okay. What's really cool about the fucking Huntress is that, uh, <laughs> Bam Bam. <laughs> What's really cool about the Huntress is that there's a perk in this where it increases the, like, the range of your terror radius, which is the range where the survivors would hear the heartbeat sound but if you do that with the huntress and you just put that to the max the whole entire match they'll just hear you fucking hear her humming the goddamn lullaby <laughs> um i'll level her up why not i don't i don't have that much but she gets some levels right Beast to pray, your last kills into his connection with that. Alright. Grants the undetectable status after gaining blood lust tier one. Hmm. Oh, wrong. Eh, why not? Why not? You know? I'm gonna give her. If they enter the basement, uh, do, 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 thrill hunt. You know what? I do want to play as the Huntress, but playing at her at like a super low level probably is not the best choice. So instead, let's kick up the Evanescence, right? Plays Legion. Discordance, Sloppy Butcher. Discordance is when you hit the generator, right? Two servers or more working on the same generator. Yeah. Mad Grit! Yeah. Distress. Uh. Alright. I guess I can give myself an add-on since I don't have that many perks. Hit survivor slightly, but killing us as well. It applies mangled status effect for 60 seconds. Time required to refill the power gauge. I'll take that. Stolen sketchbook. Increases frenzy duration. Now come on. We'll do that. And we'll play as... Because Legion is actually four people. And I like playing as Julie. Oh, I thought I had the other two. Damn it. I guess it's on the PC. I guess it's on the PC I have the other two. Shit. I love Dead by Daylight. I love horror. It's great. There needs to be more games that are like... We need more games that are just like... That play kind of like a slasher thriller movie. You know? We need like more of those. Like to be honest, Resident Evil 2... And Resident Evil 3 kind of works that way with like, uh, well, the remakes at least with like Nemesis and, um, and, uh, what's his name? Tyrant. They're kind of like slasher villains, you know what I mean? You open a doorway and they're just there. And you're like, holy shit! That's a huge bitch! And you start running the other way. And you start crying to yourself.
I wish they can fix the fucking, um, whatchamacallit. I wish they can fix some of the wait times for these, uh, matches. Sometimes they feel pretty long, not gonna lie. What do they got? What do they got going for, uh, for this shit? How do I check it? I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how to check the fucking, um, the whatchamacallit. They're like, weird season, not season pass, what am I saying? They're weird like, uh... Why can't I remember the name of it? Ugh. God. I'm having a moment here. What are you holding in your hand over there? Are you holding something? Hey, it's Steve! Hey, it's Steve. I like Steve. And Heather. My bad. Cheryl Mason. Spoilers. Cheryl. I heard they were making a new Silent Hill game. Let's all pray that they actually give a fuck this time, Konami, huh? Let's pray that Konami, like, actually cares now. And they're like, it's not a pachinko machine. Man, you know what? I'm assuming, because usually, on like the PS4 for me, when I play this on PS4, when the season resets, I get like people who are up in like fucking, you know, they'll be in like uh, rank 5 or whatever. But like, I'm guessing since it's crossplay now, there's definitely just more people who just like, aren't really that up there in rank. What also sucks about this game is that if you want to buy this game and get like all the DLC and shit like that, there's no version of the game that you buy and you get all the DLC. You have to buy like the the most updated version is like the Silent Hill version. And that just gets you like that gets you like some of the DLC ca uh, killers and stuff. And then, you know, Pyramid Head, but it doesn't get you like Ghostface or like fucking or like Michael Myers or anything like that. You gotta buy those separately and each of them are like seven dollars. Not even seven dollars, like eight dollars plus tax. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, time to show them my mag grit. Alright, I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing because it's been a while since I played Legion. Oh, I got mag grit. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's two of you. Where's Cheryl go? Cheryl? Cheryl? Oh, Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl, where'd you go? I see your scratches. Cheryl. Come here. Cheryl. 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 Cheryl! <laughs> now go heal that up. You go do that. I'm still coming after you, Cheryl. Steve? Steve. Steve. Stevie boy. Steve, my guy. Steve. You guys are just running straight into me. He gave me the slip, didn't he? Ah, uh, ah, uh, they, they got away. Cheryl, you're upstairs. I can hear you. Cheryl. Cheryl, I love you. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. We're still gonna get our fucking nails done, girl. There you go. I'm gonna go look for Steve now. You guys are fucking gutsy. I'll tell you what. 
I'll tell you what's what. You guys are fucking gutsy out here. You guys are fucking gutsy out here doing this shit. Bill? I still got him. Still got you, Bill. I'm gonna go after Cheryl now. I gotta go check up on her. Gotta make sure my girlfriend's doing fine, you know what I mean? No! Come here. I'm sorry. Did they have a perk, or did they just never get hit before? Cheryl? 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 Cheryl, please. Stop. Stop. Cheryl, don't do this. Don't do this. Your father would be angry. Don't do this. Don't do this. Damn it. Don't do this, Cheryl. Don't do this to me. Cheryl? You gotta stop. I'm sorry, is your friend here trying to trying to protect you? Where the fuck were they? I heard that pallet drop. Who did that? I'm sorry, Cheryl. Come on, let's go. You need better friends who care about you. No. I see. Is is that a hex totem or was that someone crouching in the grass? I couldn't. I couldn't really see. That's my boy Steve. No, that's a hex totem. Someone was fucking with this though. So that means they're close. They're nearby. What are you doing? I see you. I said I see you. Oh. <laughs> Cheryl, no, come back. So, excuse me? <laughs> I thought I saw someone just like crouching in the corner. Where are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like Assassin's Creed, bitch. Now heal that, motherfuckers. Go do that. fuck did you go? I guess they ran the other way, and I just didn't notice. They're healing themselves, and I just heard one of them. That was smart. Someone's definitely about to get a generator, though. They are fucking healing each other up good. Alright. The hex totems are fucking getting to me, man. Are you still working on this? Where are you going? Where are you going? That wasn't smart. Excuse me? What? Uh, excuse me? Can you guys not? I would really love it if you guys fucking didn't right now. Come on, damage it. Oh, fuck. Wasn't it this one that said they got busted or something? Shit. Wasn't that the marker that went off? Shut up, Zoltar. I'm trying to pay attention. Yeah, they're definitely gonna win this one. I fucked up. There's two people over here, though. 
Stop it. Stop. That was smart. Now where the f where's Cheryl? Is she working on that generator? A loud ass generator. What the fuck? Stop it, Bill. You have to stop. You're too old for that, Bill. You have to stop it. Cheryl, I know you're still here. Uh, I just took a peek at the chat. I'll read it in a second. I'm really trying to focus on this. You guys are fucking each other up there, aren't you? Where the fuck are the steps? Don't run away. Don't run away, guys. Don't run away, I'm your friend. Don't... Don't run away. I'm your friend. I'm... Damn it. Damn it. You stop. You stop. You stop. I missed? Really? Wow, that was uh that was a big fuck up on my part. Did I just see Bill? You are not working on that generator. You are not. The fuck is wrong with you? How dare you? Right in front of me. How absolute dare you? Now you must be punished, Bill. You're my second favorite. Cheryl's still my number one girl. But you must be punished for your wrongdoings. Goodbye with you. I know they're still here. I know they are still here. Where are they? They did not just give me the fucking slip. Are you kidding me? Every time I come here, I feel like they're running circles around this generator. And I definitely heard Steve earlier crying in the corner. They ran off to a different generator. I've been here too long. I hear you crying somewhere. I got flip turn upside down, I'm not gonna lie. I saw them, I took a wrong turn, and I missed them. That was 100% my fault, I'm not gonna lie. I hear you. Alright. Alright. Remember, guys, I have a fucking, like second and a half delay with sound, so if I'm close to them, I can't hear them right away. Bill? You guys get away from this generator. It was that one? Damn it. It's these two generators they want, because they're the closest to being fixed. Are you guys hiding over here? Uh, I bet they're gonna... Where the fuck? There you are! I've been hearing you for the longest! Man, Steve, you sound like a bitch when you whine. Steve sounds like a little bitch. Oh, I thought somebody would be over there. They're going for Steve now. 
These are good teammates. I like them. Someone already went out, right? Steve, you got time. Mm. Heather! Cheryl! My favorite. I love you, Steve, but I gotta get my favorite. Excuse me? Does she have a perk on? Are you kidding me? I can't let you get away. Cheryl, I can't let you get away. You're my favorite. You're my best as a friend. You can't get away from me. No. Don't do this. Cheryl, no. Come back. Uh, they heal themselves by putting bandages on their wrists. Yeah, that's really crazy. <laughs> did they... Did they nerf... Um. Did they nerf Legion? Because I could have sworn... That it used to take longer for them to recover from the, um, from, like, Legion's rage shit, right? Okay. You see this? It was never that serious. It was never that serious. Come on, man. This was never that serious. <laughs> yeah, but, um, been watching my Phoenix Wright series, you love it? Thank you. Honestly, here's the thing. I think next to RPGs, um, visual novel games, especially like mystery shit, like Danganronpa and stuff like that, those are definitely probably my second favorite genre of game. And I definitely want to record more visual novel type games, but it's such like a niche thing because all it is is just reading, right? And I still, and I still need to finish that last trial for Phoenix Wright, the fifth trial. I still got to finish that. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna get back to that after uh, after October. I gotta hit them a few times for it. Really? I thought it was just one and done. That's what it used to be, right? Like. But definitely this December, I probably shouldn't be saying this because, you know, I don't want to promise something that I can't keep. But this December, I definitely want to, um, I definitely want to do Danganronpa V3 because I had that game since it came out. And for the most part, it'll be a blind playthrough. But the only amount that I played that game was past the first, was past like the prologue, like the first trial. And that's because I recorded it a long time ago, but my, um, my PC at the time, uh, broke down, so I lost that recording. Which sucks, because the first trial in Danganronpa V3 is one that they can't do ever again. It was such, like, a good build-up. So, it sucks that when I record that game, no one will be able to see my first time reaction to it. I had V3 since it came out. That was, like, 2017. That was like three years ago. <laughs> and I still haven't played it, man. And I love Danganronpa. I love it so much. Alright. Demogorgon sucks. Alright. Let's see. Do we have enough blood points to get Huntress to... To at least having two perks. Alright. There we go. Alright, cool. Now... I will definitely finish uh, the Phoenix Wright one, and... Since it's been such a long time, once I finish the first Phoenix Wright, I'm just gonna go straight into the second one. Because I was supposed to finish uh, Phoenix Wright before I did um, Batman. But, uh... But, uh, my whole streaming schedule shit got changed all around. And fucking Phoenix Wright was kind of just like a casualty of that. Alright. Listen. 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 You see all these perks? It's not that serious. This game is not that serious. Right? But I'm about to make it serious. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, man. 
I definitely had a lot of fun doing Phoenix Wright, and I definitely want to keep doing it. I want to do all the Phoenix Wright games at some point. I'm just trying to think right now, should I replace any of these? I'm All Ears is pretty good, right? Because I can just hear them vaulting over shit. Um, this one, this one blocks the generators, right? After picking up a generator, I mean, after picking up a generator, after picking up a survivor, all generators not being repaired by survivors are blocked. Unrelenting, you recuperate faster from missed attacks. And barbecue and chili. Overpowered as shit. What's this? Moderately increases night shroud power recovery rate. Now, yep. Like I said, barbecue and chili, best perk in this fucking game. I love Dead by Daylight. I love this so much. I'm so in love with this fucking game. This is what Evolved wanted to be, right? God, Evolve was such a letdown. Evolve was let down. Battleborn was let down. I unironically actually did like Battleborn, right, when I played the beta. I liked it a lot. Fucking Lawbreakers. Anyone remembers that game? I bet you don't. <laughs> it's the new Overwatch killer, everybody. And it's a game that's super fast as fuck, faster than Quake, and you barely know what the fuck is going on half the time. God. Just look at, look at him. Look at Ghostface. Isn't he the best? He's just like stabby stabby. Look at him. Look at him. Man. So here's the thing with Ghostface. Playing his fucking, um, the best way to play Ghostface in terms of, like, actually, like, hiding in the shadows and shit. Why the fuck did I just put so much effort on that H? I don't know why. Is, I don't have his outfit, but he has the, uh, well, not an outfit, the mask. He has the bloody mask, right? Like, the red mask. Never played Evolved? Not that good? Mmm, eh, it's not, here's the thing. Evolve was good for what it is worth. But it's just that the moment people learned everything there was to learn about the game, it was so broken to the point that the monster would never win. Right? Like, you start the game, someone would instantly just fucking like throw a tracker somewhere. Someone would just put a barrier down and you and your little baby monster form fucking, you wouldn't have enough time to go and kill someone or anything. Hey, it's Little Birdo. I like that name. They love me. They love Mel. My bad. No, they love May. Alright. Matt, the Hebrew. He said it, not me. The Hebrew King. CJ. I'm surprised no one's carrying a flashlight. I have yet to see a flashlight this whole entire night. Which makes me really, really happy. Because I hate the fucking flashlight. You know what I really need to do at some point? I need to have like if I ever get to a point where I have a I have a nice, safe, free slot to stream on Fridays, I would love to do fighting games. I fucking love fighting games. I'm definitely without a doubt, some point in October, I'm definitely gonna stream fucking Skullgirls. Not online, just like the story, right? Dead by Daylight's incredible. It's fun. It's... I'm having fun right now, but if I were to go up against, like, the real toxic players, like, the real fucking... Because it seems like the killer... You would think the killer would be, like, the most competent player out of all because, you know, you're supposed to have all the power. It's one against four. The survivors, if you're going against people who play this game, the survivors... They will bully the fuck out of you, especially Ghostface, because one of his abilities is to, he has to stalk you, and if he gets seen stalking you, which is why, if you play as Ghostface, you should wear the red mask, because the white mask gives you away, um, if they see you stalking them, then fucking, 
then you get a penalty, right? Now, speaking about stalking, at no point at playing, as playing um, Ghostface, you should never be in your night mode, unless you can't be in your night mode, right? Now, this is probably a bad, a bad map for, uh, for Ghostface, because there's a lot of, all right, you guys are really fucking up the generators, like, super badly. What's going on here? Come on, guys, what, what's going on here? I don't even see them. Where the fuck? I hear someone somewhere, but what the hell? Oh, uh, what just happened? Uh. Oh, there they are. They saw me. They just juked the shit out of me, too. This person is a fucking thief of the night. Come here. Wow. You should have put that pallet down, but it's okay. Why are you hurt? What happened to you? Oh, you have a perk on. I think you can, like, I think he can get himself up from the ground, actually. Alright, so you can stay down. I'm gonna go after her. She's still damaged. I'll come back for you later. Come here. Come here. Come here. Cool. I see... I thought I saw someone over there. That was a tumbleweed. Toxic? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not toxic. They're toxic. She was, like, hiding behind me, though. That was really good, though. I gotta get props to her. Good job. Now, this guy... I'll be honest, I forgot where I... Oh, there he is. Yeah, he can get himself up. He has a perk where, like... He probably has a perk where, like... He, um... Where, like, he gets down in one hit, but if I leave him on the ground, he can get himself up. Right? Someone went and saved her. Here's your... One time, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're dead. Hi. What are you doing? Why did you crouch there? Now, I saw your teammate in that building, right? They're probably going to save their friend now. Because he's free to be saved. hurt someone near me someone's like oh she's uh, struggling on the thing oh they saw me then Well, I'm sorry, buddy. You're dead now. I'm so sorry. Good play, man. Now, where? They're either healing over here, or they're fucking... Hmm. Oh, oh, I see you. You stop that. You stop that. Sorry, man. So, what I just did right there, it's probably a big no-no to do, right? It's a strategy called tunneling, in which you single out one survivor. 
which is probably like it's probably the most toxic thing a killer could do. But to be honest, sometimes you just you know sometimes it is what it is, right? Sometimes you're in it to win it. It may not seem fair, but it is. Okay. Let me see what is happening. Over here. Did someone go up top? Where in the fuck are these people? Are they all the way over there? Yep. That's exactly where they're at. Hi there. Oh. Come on, let's go. Come on. I'm sorry. Are you working on this over here? You were working on this over here. But now, you are gone. You went for your friend. No, you did not go for your friend. Where the... Did you go over here? Come on. Where are you? Where are you? You're here somewhere. You're here somewhere and I know you're here. Found you. Alright. You are the last survivor. I missed. I blatantly missed. Get over here. I blatantly missed that one. Wow. But I grabbed her. Hey. Where is the nearest hook? She might actually get free. She might actually get free. Yep, she got free. Did you really put that pallet down for no reason? What was that about? Why'd you do that? Good game, guys. You did your best. I do apologize for that one dude that I was definitely tunneling. I definitely tunneled that one dude, but he had that perk where if he got down, he can get back up, so that kind of freaked me out a little bit. But the other three, I didn't tunnel them. A four-man squad of flashlighters? That would be fucking annoying. I actually ran into that before playing this, because what would happen... What would happen fucking the way that would play out is that um who, who was I up against yeah I was up against mostly new guys this guy kind of plays it some from time to time yeah but these two they had no perk or anything I guess they're fully new to the game who was playing as Bill I'm gonna assume this guy was playing as Bill right no, no, this guy was playing as, um, what's his name? David King. He's the one that had that perk. 
Yeah, but the way that would play out with the four flashlight is that you would get someone down and either as you would pick someone up, someone would be in front of you clicking the flashlight to blind you so you can instantly put them down or they would put a pallet down and if you went to destroy the pallet, they would turn around and just keep clicking the button so they can instantly stun you. And it's just like, come on, man. And then, of course, they would taunt with the flashlight, too, because you'll just hear them click it like they're crazy people. That's usually how that plays out, anyways. My goal here is to play matches with the other guys and to get Huntress to a nice level to where I can play as her. Because I do just like the Huntress. Like, all her ability is is just, she has, like, she's super fucking tall, and she has a fucking, she has a throwing axe. That's her abilities. Alright. Let's see, what do I have for you right now at this very moment? Sloppy Butcher. Iron Grass. Well, iron Grass is pretty good, right? Is Freddy still OP or is he being nerfed since his massive buff? I actually don't play as Freddy. Are you assuming like the uh, the buff where like he no longer has to suck you into the dream world? He can just like lay traps down and shit. From my knowledge, I don't think he ever got debuffed from like... Let's say about like around August to what he was in August. I don't think he ever got nerfed from that state. But, like, Freddy's kind of OP, but Freddy is still doable because you can at least understand what he's going to do. The doctor, the doctor is nothing. The doctor is just like, you, you play, if you're playing the game and the doctor's in there, the answer is get fucked. That's what the answer is. There's no fighting against him whatsoever. You will lose. There's no winning against the doctor. Especially when they have that upgrade that uh, makes his terror radius bigger. So then he can just shock you from anywhere around the map. And definitely if you're playing on the Silent Hill map where it's mostly vertical. Right? So whether you're upstairs or downstairs, he can still just shock you. Listen, here's the thing. I don't need them to nerf the doctor. Right? I don't even want them to nerf the doctor. I just want an update to come out to where... If you play as the Doctor, whenever he does his electric zaps, he also screams, I love, I love fingers in my ass, right? That's what he needs. He just needs something, right? He just needs something to be like, I'm a big doo-doo head. <laughs> Every time you shock someone, he has to, he has to fucking make himself feel bad. I actually never played as Michael Myers either, to be honest. I have, however, played as the Hillbilly, and then even though people like the Hillbilly, I don't. Alright? I don't play as the Plague, not because I don't like the Plague, but because she's just so fucking... She's so nasty to look at, and that's the point. The point is that she's supposed to be nasty to look at, but it bothers me. It bothers me to no end. I would like to play as the hag, though. Because the hag... I can do the hag with no perks, right? You know what? Actually, let's... Let's do the huntress. Then we'll do the hag. Let's do the huntress. It's the huntress's time, alright? She has to learn to fly the coop somehow. Alright, now what the hell does this do again? Uh... Survivors receiving 2% regression penalty when missing any skill check. Each time survivors hooked, Huntress Lullaby grows in power. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. I'll give her like an add-on. I'll give her one add-on. Start with the extra hatchet. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. What's this? I thought I would have like her... Her, uh... 
her like uh, her cake thing you know that you get for the anniversary for having more blood points um yeah I think that's it for the huntress I'm gonna do I am however going to give her her hound mask back because I think it looks better Searching for match, so that I may be a creepy fuck. Huntress is 100% killer waifu, though. That's wifey. That's the girl. Like, what was her backstory? Was her backstory that, like, her, her mom died protecting her? I think her backstory is that her mom died protecting her. And then she just went crazy. And stopped wearing shoes in the snow. Yeah, something like that? Definitely. Huntress is a badass. She's such a badass. You know what? Speaking about, like, horror games and shit, there's something I do have to say, right? So, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume that we've seen the, uh, that you guys seen the, um, the PlayStation event that happened yesterday? Um, the spirit... I know the spirit is that she got attacked by her dad. Her dad was supposed to be the one that got tucking into the mist by the by the um the entity was going after her father, right? But in the last second when her dad was attacking her, like you know, I believe she like ran out through the window and got covered in glass or something like that or she got pushed out a window or something like that. And she was covered in glass and with her dying breath, like her anger like drew the entity to her instead of her father. Um, and I know the Oni is a descendant of her, not her descendant, she's the descendant of the Oni, so they're part of the same family tree. And the Oni is just like a fucking crazy guy. He's like, I'm showing you the true way of the samurai by just fucking killing people. And then his dad was like, you bring great dishonor to my family. And then fucking, and he's like, no, I shall now kill everyone, and then he killed his own dad. Well, he went off on a killing spree, and then his dad came to kill him, and then he went in like a blood fury or some bullshit. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna assume that we've seen the PlayStation 5 event, yes? And I'm not gonna say too much about it. But, even though, even though it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little cringe to say this, right? Not defamory. <laughs> Listen. I'm okay, right? I have a working relationship with, with the Asian culture. My close friend, he's Chinese, right? So, I get the pass to make fun of his family. And I hand him his end card, and we and we're good. <laughs> he has the end card, right? He can say it whenever he wants, wherever he wants. Me, I get to talk about the honor by his family. <laughs> that's that's not that is not a good thing. <laughs> As I, as I hand him his in-pass, I fucking, I went, I fucking created a monster. <laughs> I don't dishonor his family, right? I guess to talk, I just get to talk about his family honor. And I make fun of him because most of the time he's the designated driver and I'm the designated navigator, right? So like... 
every time he misses a turn or something, and I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on, dude, stop looking in widescreen. Stop staring at stop staring at the road in full screen. And then he just looks at me. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> God. It's a it's a very, very very uh symbiotic relationship that happens there. And then we both have like a friend who's super white and then he gets he gets none of the benefits and we make fun of him. Stop staring at anime titties and look at the road. No, most of the time it's him looking at me and be like, can you take the anime titties off your phone and pull up the GPS? And I'm like, no, I'm getting to the good part. Stop. All right. We are at the preschool. This is. Is the preschool, um, that's Freddy's stages, right? That's Freddy's stage, right? Listen to her beautiful humming. All right, now we're looking for these guys. Did I just see scratches? Really? 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 You're just on full sprint. Just not even giving a fuck. Damn it. Come here. You cannot escape from me. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't like the fact that she stomps it out with, like, bare feet. I know she's downstairs, but... I wanna break that open. I saw you. Where the fuck? God damn it, this like one second delay shit pisses me off because I can hear them like after I pass them. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. Dwight, Dwight, you gotta stop. Dwight. How did I, how did I miss? Yeah, that was smart. That was smart, Dwight. That was real smart, buddy. You're the smartest guy in the world. Now you will stay there, and I'll destroy this. He disconnected? Really? He rage quit? Bro. This is what I mean survivors are like the most entitled motherfuckers ever. Like, they do all this work to, like, get in your ass, right? And then fucking, the moment you get them down or put them on a hook, they just get mad and go like, It's not fair, you're supposed to, you're supposed to go after the other survivors, you're supposed to let me dig up in your ass. Like, alright. You were still down here. Hey, your friend Dwight broke everything, by the way. I can look away, flashlight warrior. There you go. Are you gonna fucking disconnect too? Now, here's the thing. I don't know where your friends are at because I was fucking with you and Dwight. They're probably on the other side of the map. Excuse me? Excuse me? That was insulting what you just did. No. Bad. Now you. Bad. That's what happens when you play the hero. Come here. 
I can't pick her up because she's too close. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Gotcha. Where's the nearest hook? Did they just get her down? Really? Right in front of me? You guys are gutsy. I like it. My mind starts playing tricks on me because I could have sworn I saw one of them like run right behind me. Are you going for this generator over here? No, it doesn't seem like it. One of you definitely wants to go save her. Come on, there's no way the both of you just jet it out of there. Did y'all really just like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, there's no way... There's no fucking way that you just, like, straight up abandoned her. And one of them had a med kit, so they went and healed themselves. That's great. Did she go upstairs? You got stuck. Listen, the only reason I'm tunneling you is because the white he disconnected. It made me mad. All right. Not this generator. I just heard you hop a fence. Nope. Are they downstairs? Did they really go downstairs? I'm hearing them jump fences and shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna go check downstairs. If they're not downstairs, then they're on the, they're on the fucking other side. Nope. I don't think they're downstairs. I will hear the generator. Alright, well... They're over here. Yep, I knew you were over here. It's fine, buddy. That was real stupid, what you just did. That was really stupid. Come on. Come on. You're doing a really good job at distracting me. Damn it, the axe was too slow. Come on, where'd you go? Really? I missed. Thank you. Your time has come, little one. Let's go, baby bird. There's a hook right here for you. And your friend is over here. Now, 
I have a feeling they know where the hatch is at. Because they've been running around this whole entire map. With, like, non-stop. I'm gonna head downstairs. Maybe the hatch is downstairs. Nope. Yeah, they're definitely going to find the hatch before I do. I'm getting lost in here. Jesus. Did I just see them? Was my mind playing tricks on me? I thought I just saw them run past. You are not working on this, are you? Eh, free points. She's definitely going to find that hatch before me. Oh, or maybe not. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Come on. I need you here. I like this character. If I find her, if I find her, I'm just going to let her go. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. I like you. You didn't have to disconnect. I was going to let you out. Oh my god. The most entitled motherfuckers. I was literally going to open the door. Pick him up. Put him at the exit. And let her crawl away. God damn it. You could have got your points for winning the game, right? Well, quote unquote winning for escaping the match, but no. But no. But no. Your fucking rank 16 and 17 and rank 20s were on the line. These two people. These two people right here. No, my bad. These two people. These two people right here. Shame on these motherfuckers. Shame on you. Like, unsportsman, man, like, come on. Come on. Amazing torchlight skills? Yep. You know what I mean? You see what I mean? They just click the shit out of it. They're just like, clicky, click, 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 click. Alright. I love the hunters, though. She's amazing. Oh, man. Can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. They were just like, nope. They didn't. They didn't. If you just let the game play out. I would have let you escape. Alright. There's the gunslinger. 
there's pyramid head right um I personally suck with pyramid head but I guess I guess I can play as pyramid head right I kind of suck with pyramid head though I can do some pyramid head why not Why not? There we go. I don't got shit here. Deathbound. When survivor heals another survivor for one health state, all right, the survivor performing healing action will scream, revealing their location. Because I have no perks, I'm just gonna slap these add-ons on. I don't know what they do, but they do something. Increases duration, rights of judgment. Slightly increases duration of killer instinct when triggered by right of judgment. All right. You don't even see them, they just go poof. When you play as Plague, two people fucking disconnect, yeah. The worst is when, uh, is when you're playing as fucking, um, what's his name? When you're playing as Bubba Schwire, right? You play as, uh, you know, Texas, Chain Train uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, right? When you play as the Butcher, fucking, when people disconnect on you, because most of the time when you're playing as Bubba Schwire, you're not playing as him because he's good, because he's probably one of the worst characters in the game. Not the worst. Demogorgon's definitely the fucking worst. He sucks. But, um, or it sucks, because it doesn't have a gender, I guess. But, um, the reason it sucks when they disconnect when you play as Bubba Schwire is because most of the time you're playing as him just to use his perk, barbecue and chili, to get more points for your other killers. So when they disconnect, it's just like, well, now it's going to take longer to level up my other killers. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. My flashlight didn't work. Time for me to disconnect. Like, what? Like, at least the other two, who are new to the game, they seem new to the game. They lost, they died, they took the L with grace. You know? They didn't cry. At least from what I'm seeing from my point of view, they didn't cry when they lost. If you lose, you lose, right? There was that one game I had where all four of them fucking escaped. Technically, I lost. But I had fun, though, because Cheryl was there. That was my homegirl. Cheryl was there. Steve was there. Bill, my old, my old drinking buddy, he was there. And then one other, some other Asian chick who I really didn't care about. I don't know about her. Apparently, she's like some gamer chick or something. I don't know. I mean, who isn't a gamer girl nowadays, right? I'm a gamer girl. Kawaii Desu. Yeah. Here's the thing. Bubba's ability to use his chainsaw, I get that it's a one hit and it goes in like kind of like a cone-shaped attack, but... He's not that fast when he use it, right? It takes him a good while to charge it up. It shouldn't be necessary for him to lose his shit whenever he, like, hits something or misses, like, because he takes forever to come back from that. If they just shortened that by, like, by, like, by, like, a second and a half, maybe, then it'd be all right. But the fact that... that they don't... All right. I think these are all new players, to be honest. I feel bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna start killing girls, right? Not you know, not to sound sexist or anything, right? But it's like I don't like killing the whole group of girls of these fair fair maidens, right? Oh, oh I thought she was gonna switch. She's covered in blood. She's prestige. Everybody, watch out.
ex daddy wait what's her name ex daddy dak <laughs> all right Oh, someone had an offering. Blood points to boldness. All right. Time for them to get that. What is this weapon called? It's called, is it just called the Great Knife? Time for them to get the get the work. Listen, Pyramid Head, he don't discriminate. Guys can get it. Girls can get it. Non-binaries can get it. Both binaries can get it. Unidentifiables can get it. Right? So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave all this shit across the ground. And whoever wants to- really? Oh, is that just me doing judgment or did someone just step on it? Like, for real. If they stepped on it, they should have been exposed. Yeah, I knew you were over here. That's why I was coming this direction. Oh, bam. Oh, you ran. Classic move. Make him feel safe. Hi. Hi. How you do? I took the swing, right? Stop struggling. That's a free hook. Were all of you here? Did you really? I can see you. You know I can see you, right? You know... You know I can see you, right? You did not juke the shit out of me. No, I can I can see, right? You know I can you know I can still see you, right? You know you know I can still see you, right? It's just that Asian persuasion. I can't stay away. No. You're coming with me. Aw. Uh, they got her off the hook. But she has had the power of judgment. Now here's the thing. I don't remember how to do his... Oh no, I remember how to do it now. Never mind. Are you over here working on this generator? If you're working on this generator, I'm gonna be upset. Now, I just gotta remember how to do, like, stop. You need to stop that. You need to stop that. You need. You need to, you need to. You need to. Stop that. Come on. Come here. Come here, little bunny. Oh, come on. You know, come on. You are not that far away. Really? Excuse me? Did she just run back in or run out? She ran out. Okay. They're getting these, uh... She is juking the shit out of me, by the way. Alright. 
Are they working on this over here? I don't think they came back to this. Nope. Yeah, no, they're gonna get away. They're gonna get away. They're getting away, 100%. So that one's off limits. I think they went all the way over here. Really? Really, what the fuck happened over here to make you scream? I didn't have like a right of judgment thing over here. Hi. I saw your other friend over here, too. I don't know where they went, though. You were here with someone else. I saw them. These guys are really good at, like, fucking healing each other. I just want to make sure they didn't run down here. Are they over here, or are they over there? I think they're over there. But I'm gonna check over here. Yep, they're over there. Yeah, no, they got it. They're good. I'm not sure if it's just me sucking at Pyramid Head. Right? Or if they're actually, like, just really good. Hi, guys. Nope. I'm not sure if they're still hiding over here, or she just, like, tracked back. Most likely the track back, though. Or she's behind a tree somewhere. Oh well. Got you! Through the wall! Like it's fucking Call of Duty! Now! Oh, wrong button. Judgment shall be passed. Punishment of the dam. Oh, wait. Fuck. I don't know how to play as him. I guess I got a hooker once. As I hook you here, your friends will get that last generator they need. Really? Really? I'm getting the bunny. She caused me the most trouble. What? What just happened? Come on. 
Where'd you go? Where'd you hit the ground at? Where the fuck did you fly off to? Wait, she didn't go down. Oh. You stop it. Stop distracting me. You're distracting. Uh... No one was there! If that's a perk... Then I don't know about that perk. But yeah, no one was there. Right? You guys got it. Get. Get going. Get, get out of here. Go get it. Go, get going. Get out of here. You guys won, you did it. Oh, they're doing that thing where they taunt at the end of the thing. Now they're gonna start crouching, right? Go, kiddos. No one can just... She had borrowed time? Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, I don't play Survivor, so the only things I really... So she didn't go down? No, I'm talking about, uh... Like me standing in front of the generator and the generator just going on when no one's there. I'm assuming that's a goddamn perk. It has to be. Probably a perk I just never ran into or something. <laughs> Let's see. Resilience. Right. Borrow time. Okay, Spine Chill. Decisive Strike. She also had Decisive Strike. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Borrow Time and Decisive Strike. Uh-huh. And Sprint Burst. And Sprint Burst? Really? <laughs> really? You didn't have to go that far, right? Uh, let's see. Distance is reduced. Deja vu. Unlock potential ones or reading abilities. Alert. Can I just point out? I had one perk. And two. <laughs> and two. Two add ons that did fuck all. Right? And they got fucking perk level threes. Oh my god. Self care. Resilience. Slippery meat. I'm trying to read it right now and see if there was one in which, uh... Like, the fucking generator just repairs itself. Right? Let me see. Maybe it's this one. Battery tape? No. Not battery tape. What I'm saying. Why the fuck did I... Butterfly tape. My bad. Bandages. So, that's why you were healing so fucking fast. Alright. Alert. Tactician. Like, yeah. Yeah, so, uh... What the fuck happened? <laughs> so it's no perk that I ever heard of. And I'm not... I'm not... You know, I'm not salty enough to be like, they're cheating, right? Maybe there's, like, a delay from repairing... No, there's no delay from repairing the generator. The moment you repair the generator, the fucking light goes on. So what the fuck happened? I literally stared at the generator, and then it just went, I'm on. <laughs> what? Maybe have just glitched a bit? A bit? That's more than a bit. Right? I'm not gonna scream cheating or anything like that, but still, it's like, it's like, what? It's like, what the fuck just happened? Like, I know I got a dome over my head, but I can still clearly see when the fucking, when the generator decides to go ghost like Danny Phantom. 
start lighting up and shit. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's going to be the latch match for uh, that's going to be the last match for the night. Don't grow up in the ghetto. You'll fucking lose. You'll you'll grow up with a fucking speech impediment of some sort. But um, that's gonna be the last match for the night because it is currently six o'clock for me, and I'm going to pass out. So is today? Today's Friday, right? Fuck. So the next stream won't be until until ah. Uh, until Sunday night? Sunday night? Like Sunday night, m Monday morning? Monday morning? T Monday at 2 a.m., you know, 11 p.m. Sunday, right? Um, so I, basically, I'm just saying there won't be uh, any streams for like two nights because those are my overnight shifts. And then after that, by then, by then, the poll should probably be. Should probably be enough votes in the poll, so either... I forgot what was tied, it's like Folklore or fucking Monster Prom, so... One of those will probably be what I stream next time. Right now it seems like it's Monster Prom, but you know... Folklore is like right behind it, so... Either of those will be fun. Folklore is really interesting, I would like to... I would like to see that. It's a game, it's a game based on Celtic lore. Which you don't see much of. In games. Right? Because everyone loves Greece and fucking and Odin, and fucking Norse mythology. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this stream tonight. Next stream won't be until two nights. Once again, I'll put the notice out on the community page. And I didn't get a chance to upload the uh, the last part of Batman and Medieval at all um, earlier today, but I'll definitely do it later. I'll definitely do it later today, so those two will go up. I just had to, like, render those videos out and, like, you know, make sure those things are edited. But other than that, I think that's it. Um, I think I'm going to go see about an opportunity I had to be on, on to be, like, on a podcast or something. I'm going to check that out today, see what goes on. I might be on a podcast, I might not. Uh, I don't know. But... I think that's all I really have to say right now. I don't think there's anything coming up next week either. Not that I can think of. So, it's time for the outro. Everyone who watched on Twitch, I want to thank you for hanging out, being here. It's fun to talk to you guys. I like it. I like saying random shit to a screen, right? So that one day someone may kick my door down and say, who the fuck are you talking to? And I say, I'm talking to my TV. Duh. It loves me. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you for watching the stream. Right? It helps out. Very close to becoming an affiliate. Right? It's not important to me. But it would be fun. It would be fun to see what happens after that point, right? For people who are watching this on YouTube, that persona shit is not going up on YouTube. It, it's just, it's not ready. It's not ready. Now's not the time for that persona shit. But the Dead by Daylight thing is definitely going to go on YouTube. Because the only Dead by Daylight video I have on YouTube is one where I fucked up the stream and you can hear like an echo in the background. It sucks. Don't watch that video. It sucks. Anyways. So this daylight thing's gonna go on YouTube. People are watching on YouTube. Thanks for just watching the content, right? If you're new to the channel, if you want to subscribe, whatever, I guess. I don't know. I can't. Eh, it don't matter. But if you are subscribed and you haven't yet, click the bell. Click the bell. It does the thing that shows you the notifications so that I don't have to make clickbait thumbnails with a picture of, like, someone screaming or something. I don't know. And, like, red circles everywhere and arrows pointing to them and shit, right? <laughs> yeah, good night. Thanks for showing up, definitely. I hope to see you guys in the next stream. Fucking...
if it's the morning for you, I gotta I gotta like think while I'm doing my outro because I forget it every time. I don't have this shit written down. If it's the morning for you, you got a big day ahead of you, right? Prepare for the big day. Take it easy. Don't work too hard, right? If it's the evening, it's time for you to relax, calm down. Unless you have like an evening shift or you work at a restaurant or something and you want to bang your head against the wall, right? Don't bang your head against the wall. Better yet, get one of those stress balls, right? One of those fucking stress balls. You squeeze the shit out of it. You fucking... All the energy in the world. And then when you do it, and when you finally squeeze it hard enough to where it feel like it explodes, you then can run up to Master Jiraiya and said you learned the Razangon and then you blow up the water balloon in his face, right? And then, if you're watching this late at night, let me tell you something. If you're watching this late at night, I bet there's like a fucking man staring at you right now through your window and you don't even know about it. He's invisible, right? But at the right, at the right, at the right angle of light, you'll see a shine of like just eyes and teeth, right? And they're not creepy eyes and teeth. They're just like humanoid eyes and teeth, but you won't be able to see the body, right? So do what I do. If you have curtains at nighttime and you put those curtains down, you take some thumbtacks and you just fucking stick it in the sides so there's no light shining through so you don't have to see the creepy guy's face because they're always watching you. Right? <laughs> I really hope I'm not giving someone like some sort of exis existential horror right now. But yeah, if it's nighttime, you know, stay inside. There's the oogie boogies out there. They're creepy. Don't let them get you. And as always, everyone, Stay happy, stay healthy. Shit is still going down on the West Coast with all those fires and shit, right? The sky is turning red. And that's God. <laughs> that's God. It's Oh yeah. Well, well, you know what I mean? It's 6 right now, but like if you're if you're watching this at midnight on YouTube, you don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> You know, people on the West Coast right now, they're fucking dealing with the harmonic convergence. Like, it's got the Legend of Korra. The sky's red. Fuck. The Avatar of Destruction is coming down upon them. Yeah, but people on the West Coast, stay safe. Take care of each other. Right? Make sure you stay with your loved ones and your friends and you help. You help out yourself, your friends, and your community. You know? Take this as an opportunity to become a better person than what you were. Rebuild yourself. Right? And that's pretty much it. So, as always, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.